Hi everyone, Leanne Sue, PhD candidate here. Today I'm here to tell you about why you need a magnetically shielded Krypton Hall Thruster. So first of all, what is a Hall Thruster? Well, a Hall Thruster is an electric propulsion device that offers high thrust densities and moderate specific impulses. You can see some of its operating conditions here. Hall thrusters have also been greatly improved in the past few years by the advent of magnetic shielding. So magnetic shielding reshapes the magnetic field topologies inside these devices that, uh, that basically eliminates rain erosion and greatly improves their lifetimes. So you might be asking me, what's there even left to do on hull thrusters? Well, one thing we can look at is improving the propellant choice. Xenon is usually used on hull thrusters because of its high thrust to powers and because of its high efficiencies. But Xenon is very expensive. A two week test on the X3, a 100 kilowatt class hull thruster, uh, cost $150,000, at which point you might as well be burning money. So consider instead Krypton. Krypton is up to 10 times cheaper and offers better specific impulses. However, we've also seen that Krypton has poor efficiencies on magnetically shielded thrusters, as you can see in this plot here. So our next question is then, why is it bad? To understand that, we can break down the performance of the anode efficiencies. So we can analyze specific efficiencies between xenon and krypton on these shielded thrusters and then figure out where it looks the worst. So the largest discrepancies seem to come from the beam current utilization A to B, which is the conversion of discharge current into ion beam current, and from the mass utilization A to M, which is the conversion of neutrals into ions. Uh, and so we can see from this plot here that those are the worst ones. But how does this compare to unshielded thrusters, you might ask? Well, the beam current utilization A to B gap is worse, while the A to M gap is about the same. Now that's all very good and interesting, but you might be asking me, how do we improve it? Great question. We can improve it by using simulations. Uh, hall 2 de is a simulation software that we can use to help us optimize a magnetically shielded thruster designed for Krypton. So to do so, we'll first need to get laser-induced fluorescent measurements of the Krypton magnetically shielded thruster. Uh, to do that, we'll need a new laser system, but it'll give us the ion velocities along center line, which we can then use in our optimization uh, simulations to get a better idea of how to design a new thruster. Maybe it'll mean longer channels. Maybe it'll mean a different magnetic field topology. But in the end, we're going to build that thruster. So for redacted payments of redacted dollars, this technology could be yours. Get yours today. Today.